Well, today's mane and tail day, uh, or tails. I've got to figure out how I'm going to do the manes on these horses and uh, the tails. I've been working it over in my mind how, how I can create them and make it uh, so it's easy to cast. That's the big thing. You've got to think about casting costs, how much it costs to make the mold, how much it costs to make the castings, and how easy it is to clean it afterwards because you've got to get rid of all the uh, ceramic mold that gets into the bronze. So anyway, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Uh, I don't know how long I'll be sculpting today because it's uh, almost 6 o'clock at night. I've been uh, running around all day. Just been one of those days. Anyway, uh, eyes are good. I'm actually keeping my left, my right eye open more uh, in the last couple of weeks than I've done before because when I left it open before, it would be highly irritated and I'd get all kinds of weird hairy things going on in front of my eyes and I'd sit there and squint all the time so I could see out the good eye which is not all that great either but uh, today uh, I mean I'm actually sitting around with both eyes open so and I'm, I'm going to be seeing the retinal specialist in uh, exactly one week uh, next Thursday and so uh, we'll see what happens I, I'm really happy the way uh, I'm starting to see a little bit better in my uh, right eye the one that uh, had the uh, blind problem and uh, so we'll just take it one day at a time I'm not worried about it I don't sit and fret about it I just take I mean, when you get my age, um, I'll be 73 at the end of the month, you, you sort of take things in stride and learn to live with what you got. Because you ain't got no choice. And a lot of you youngins out there are going to find that out someday. Take care of yourselves today. That's all I got to say. All right, I'm going to get busy and uh, we'll see what we can do. I've got a pen that I got. Uh, Mike Rowe of uh, Dirty Jobs uh, was promoting these uh, pens because they write on everything. Stone, cement, uh, and probably wax paper too. It's called Rex, let's see, R-E-Y Mark. Ray, uh, is that Ray Mark? Yeah, Ray Mark uh, pen. Look them up. Uh, they're not, you know, they're not cheap, but you, you, you know, it's just a good pen. Look it up on Google, uh, on, uh, look it up on YouTube. Uh, Micro talks about it. Anyway, I'm going to plot out the size or the length of the neck for each horse. I'm going to do this for. That's wax paper. It's hard to write on with a regular pen. And it marks it really nicely. So I'm going to. I like this pen. Anyway, that's <laughs> neither here nor there. Just thought I'd fill you in on a new product. I've attached my uh, camera stand to the. Uh, sculpting stand. First I'm going to take my finger and run it across here and across there. And then I'm going to take it and put it right on that line and cut it. By running my fingernail across the clay, I give it kind of a texture, hopefully like hair. Okay. 
I don't know how this is going to work out. This is something I've never done before, so it's going to be a, an interesting experiment. But then again, that's how an artist finds out little shortcuts and techniques that other artists don't have. It's because they work them out as they're sculpting. Everybody has different techniques and skills depending on their own life experiences. That's why I sell DVDs uh, on how to sculpt because I pass on to you little tricks that I came up with in pretty much the same way I'm coming up with this one. The reason I'm doing this in separate little rolls is because I hope my hat isn't in the way is <laughs> because uh, I want to be able to uh, manipulate the flowing hair of the horse. cold and rainy outside today here in southwest Montana Try it on this horse right here. Gently pick up the uh, clay. Let's do it with my other knife. There we go. a little too hard. There we go. I kind of like that. I'm going to get my tools. Gotta be careful not to leave a lot of pieces hanging out there. Okay, that looks good. I'm sorry if my camera angle isn't the best, but I really can't see what I'm doing.
Well, I tried to do as much as I could, but I just, I got two phone calls and uh, actually three phone calls. And um, each one uh, took me about 10 minutes each to talk. And now I'm running into too late to continue because I got to get dinner ready. And I don't have anybody that prepares my dinner. I got to do my own dinner. All right, everybody, I'm going to take a break for tonight, get the video on YouTube, and uh, see you guys next time. I can't say it's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be a busy day tomorrow. All right, adios. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.